<laughs> I love it when Trump spokesman. Oh yeah, first, Caitlyn Jenner. She's upset at Donald Trump, who she supported because he's kicking the transsexuals out of the army, which is proof that science can turn a man into a woman, but can still not turn a Republican into a compassionate human being. <laughs> That's beyond science. I love it when the Trump spokesman admonished the press for covering his tweets. Like, oh, why are you always talking about his tweets? As if the rantings of a lunatic president shouldn't be reported on. I mean, they always want to change the subject when his spokespeople, the reporters say, well, what about what he said last night? Oh, why is the press covering his tweets? Why don't you cover the things that are important to Americans, like jobs and, and peace and prosperity? And I'm thinking, well, why doesn't he tweet about that stuff? <laughs> that would kind of do it, you know? He still thinks he's just Donald Trump, private asshole, when now he's the President of the United States. So when shit comes out of his mouth, it's views on us as well. You know, this is a man in charge, and he's a babbling lunatic, and that should be a news story. He's like the deranged lunatic shouting obscenities out of the attic window of the White House. And we're supposed to ignore this. So he's a man who has no knowledge or experience for the job elected by people who thought that experience and knowledge is for the elite. <laughs> Republicans now are anti-knowledge. Knowledge is now bad. You see, this began years ago with the homeschooling movement. <laughs> People were upset that their children were being taught things they didn't want them to learn, like how babies are made, or that the sun doesn't revolve around the earth, or science that doesn't match scriptures. Because what better way to bring up your children than by the rules of a book of Bronze Age Shepherd's fairy tales? So the parents took the kids out of school because they imagined they had the ability to teach them homeschooling. Teaching's a skill that has to be learned. It requires years of study. It is a combination of a trainer and a coach and a social worker and a performer. It's not something for someone with no skills to do. So untrained parents who want to do homeschooling should be required to have home dentistry. <laughs> because it takes some skill. When it was pointed out that Trump didn't have any experience in governing, his supporters said, no experience is needed, he's a rich guy. Well, would they go to a dentist who had never learned dentistry? Would they be happy going to a dentist just because that guy made a lot of money in an unrelated field? I cannot imagine a Trump voter letting a rich real estate guy drill into his teeth, which would cause a lot of pain, but it would be his pain. Instead, they turned the entire country over to this guy, and now we share in the pain. Yeah. So the idea that qualifications were not important, that came with John McCain's choice of Sarah Palin. Yes. Yeah. Sarah Palin gave Donald Trump the idea of, well, I guess anyone can take the job. <laughs> now, for subjecting the nation to Sarah Palin alone, he deserves every bit of suffering he has coming to him. But McCain is a man who gets up from his government-funded, fully-paid hospital bed to vote to deny health insurance for the rest of us. <laughs> for that, I wish him a long life. A long life of cancer. <laughs> May his glioblastoma not take him so quickly so that he can savor the side effects of all the chemotherapy and radiation therapy that he voted to deny the rest of us. All right, let's not be cruel. If you think it's wrong for me to wish suffering upon someone, then let's just wish him a speedy death. I can live with that. <laughs> if I see McCain's obit before they have the next health care vote, that would be okay. Listen, the time is up. It sounds like a rant, but it's a rehearsed rant. Like first, I walk amok, and then I run amok. I want to thank you very much for participating in this rant. Thank you.